Okay, we live in the crib, vibing with Vito. Make sure you like, subscribe, and also comment on the YouTube. Also follow us on Instagram at Vibing with Vito. And I'm on TikTok too now. So follow me on TikTok before it goes away at Vibing with Vito. I'm sitting here with a guru, right? Can I call you a guru? Like real estate guru too as well? You know, people throw that term around so right, much now. Right, right, it's right. Like I say guru, then they have the um hundred dollar business classes. So I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Well, I'm sitting I'm sitting next to someone that uh was referred to me and she spoke very highly of you. Mm-hmm. Shelly spoke yeah. super highly of you and she was like, Hey, I want I want you to interview two of my girls. One was Jazzy and yeah. one was yourself. Okay. Um and now you're here now. So introduce yourself to the people and we'll get started. Okay. I am Christina Moss Crawford. I will call myself a multifaceted serial entrepreneur because nope. I don't just pivot just to one right kind of industry. Right. I'm just like Wherever I kind of right. flow and what feels good, absolutely, I go to that because I feel like we're always learning. So yeah, I'm open. That's that's dope. That's dope. So we'll we'll start by um, tell the people your vibe. I ask everybody this when they come to vibe with Vito. Explain your vibe. I think I got a couple of vibes. Okay, like it, it goes on with the multifaceted. You know, For I'm sure. just. I could be chill. I'm really a extroverted introvert, to be honest. Okay, you got to explain that. Extroverted introvert. Okay, okay. let's explain. I know how to be an extrovert when I need to. Right. You know, but who I am innately is just, I like to chill. Right. I love TV. That's where me and Shelly kind of really have a connect. Like, we love TV. and We'll talk about that, too. I got a movie I want to ask if you watched already. I might have. But go ahead. Let's get (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> but I just like to um, be around good energy. Thanks. I like to laugh. Thanks. I like to travel. Yeah. Right. I just, you know, That's I'm just dope. Christina. That's dope. That's dope. So I was reading your one sheet and okay. uh, getting to know you a little bit and stuff like that. And um, right after college, yep. you started like a PR career. Yeah. Right. And um, and you while also working with your family, too, yep. as well. Yeah. How important was like... Uh, seeing your family like uh embrace uh the journey of entrepreneurship like yourself and how was that important like how was that like um for your uh your come up too okay um well my dad is also an entrepreneur yeah so i think that's just kind of in us my mom not so much you know moms are always different yeah you know it's kind of like she's just now figuring out like oh this is what you do right you know what i mean because right. when you do so many different things and have I've always I guess been a visionary so okay. I like that word. it might not be able like I might not be able to really see or put it in paper and make right. it make sense but right. I know it you know what I mean God gives you a vision he does right and I've always said I've always just listened to the little whispers that he's given to me and a lot of times you know People are not going to understand that because he didn't give those things to you. Just like he gave Noah his vision. You know what I mean? It sounds crazy, but it's like you just got to have that undying faith and just move forward with that. So to piggyback off what you said is because I think my father is an entrepreneur, Mm -hmm. you know, and has built himself up. It was just kind of like, okay, I've laid this out for you, so just come on and do that. Right. And, you know, when you get up, you grow, you grow up, you graduate, right. mm-hmm. you got a little ego attached. Yeah, so absolutely. It's not always like I just want to go over to the family business. So I did kind of go into the role over there administratively. I was going to ask you that, too. I did do that administratively because, I mean... Money is money. You know right, right, I mean? right, right, right. And I could fit right in there. I graduated from marketing, so I was already business acclimated. Right, right. So I went there, but also marketing was my degree, and I had a – um, she's really – close to my family. Mm-hmm. Her name's Nicole Taylor. And okay. she's a black woman, you mm-hmm. know. And she always kind of groomed me and just instilled things in me as I was growing up. She went to FAMU, so, you know. Yeah, she okay. Just, okay. you know, the HBCU love. Absolutely. And she offered me a position when I graduated. Wow. Straight out of college, out of her um, communication. This is the PR. This is PR. Okay, okay. So I did um, 
Atlanta Jazz Festival. Oh. And yeah, just different things worked with Publix. I learned how to call the radio back then, you know, when you had to call yeah, get absolutely. somebody on the phone, like, hey, I have this client. She worked with a company called African Ancestry. Okay. So I did a lot of, I learned, you know what I mean? And mm-hmm. she really taught me. And That's it dope. was back then, she was innovative because it was like remote hybrid. So I was. Before, before that was be- a thing. Before that was the thing. <laughs> I okay. was doing that thing. Dope, dope, <laughs> you know dope. what I mean? So I was could balance that and I could balance entrepreneurship and working with my father and my family business. Dope. So shout out to your dad too. I want to say shout out to your dad because like like showing your children like how to kind of steer and maneuver to yes. try to start something like get generational wealth yes. for like the yeah. family. Yeah. That's a huge thing. It's huge. That's a big milestone it's too huge. as well. And I know this is women's history month and it's about women. Abs- absolutely. My father, you know, his story is a story in itself, you know. Wow. And he's pretty much a silent, you know, he's not one of those people that is just going to tell you yeah. what to do, but he has always shown me, you know, the right. way of that. Right. So, right. Yeah. So, yeah, <laughs> so it seems like your dad and my dad kind of have similar, like, characteristics because my dad never, like, he he never, like, kind of, like, enforced, yeah. like, I want you to do this. Yes. I want you to be like this. My yes. mom either. You know yes. what I mean? They kind of gave me the opportunity to kind of figure things out, mm-hmm. even with my religion, mm-hmm. like, my spiritual background and stuff like that, too, as well. It's like, all right, we're not going to just force a religion on you right we want to give you the opportunity to you're in this world like you i want you to figure it out yes you know so it's that's that's huge to have somebody like yeah you are absolutely i say that to even my friends we laugh about it all the time because i didn't my mom and dad i mean i guess they just they saw something in me or just interested in me so much you know because even are you the only child I'm, I'm not. I okay, the okay. Youngest, okay. I'm, I'm the, the youngest girl. too. I'm the youngest okay. too. Okay, so we, yeah, facts, we understand facts, that. Facts, just, facts. I don't know if they was just tired or they were just like <laughs> this these last ones gotta figure right, it out. Right, right. But it was like um during high school, you know, I never even talked to my parents really about college. My parents are both college degrees, you know. Wow. But we ne- they never like asked about applying my best friend Shanae. Um mm-hmm. she was going, she was walking down the hallway probably. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, where are you going? And she was like, well, Albany State is having a, you know, whatever they had when mm-hmm. they brought it to the oh, high yeah, school. Oh, yeah, yeah, when they, you the know, little they table, the, the little tables and stuff. And <clears throat> she was like, you want to come? So I went with her, right, you know, and they right. were introducing. I was like, oh, okay, I'm going to fly there. And Dope. it was like you April. Went to, so you went to I went to Albany State. Dope. Dope. And Dope. it was April of probably <laughs> senior year or something. Wow. And that was I just went. Look at you now. Look at me now. It's crazy. You just gotta. I, right. I just tell people like, don't take life too seriously. You right. know what I mean. Don't. Give yourself the opportunity to kind of make the mistake. Yes. Right. Because yes. when you're making a mistake, you're actually learning. Yes. In the yes. process, you yes. know what I mean. Yes. And then when you do kind of stumble, give yourself that grace. Like, right. You know, we all yeah. learn it. Every, yeah. It is no manual. Right. You know, so. Even with like, like being like an entrepreneur like mm-hmm. yourself, like you're not going to get it right the first time. Never. Maybe not the second time. Right. But each time yeah. for you to take that jump, I mm-hmm. feel like that's the biggest thing. Yeah. To jump because a lot of people are afraid. They're afraid to like chase their dreams. Yes. It's, yes. I feel like it's harder to chase your dreams than it is to like uh, like stay on a narrow path with a nine to five. Oh my goodness. You know what I mean? It is. And I, I mean, I attest to my friends that have nine to fives. I'm I, like, yeah, y'all absolutely. are amazing. Facts. Y'all are amazing because I went to a job interview. Right. You, <laughs> and the thing that I tell people too as well, it's okay to have a nine to five as well as yes. long as when you get off of that nine to five, you yes. p- try to put that same amount of time into yes. yourself. Yes. Because you got to think about it. Eight hours of the day. You feel me? Yes. Like working for someone else. Yes. Uh, like making them rich. Yes. You're getting a little piece of the pie. Yeah. Not Are all you? of it. You're not even getting the pie. You're getting some crumbs. Some crumbs. Down from somebody a little bit of the else. crust. Okay. All right. Down from somebody Damn. else that Damn. they gave something. Damn. Right. You're not. Right. You know what I mean? Right. And I don't have an entrepreneur. I tell people you got to know how to handle it because it's I've gonna had, be pressure. I've had great months. Right. Twenty five thousand dollars. Oh my god! I got this. You know I've. You know, not like, but I've had great months, but then I've had no months. Mm. You know what I mean? And how do you, like, bounce? How do you maneuver? Do you let that just knock you out the game? No. I got a question for you. Yeah. Because this, dang, okay, cool. (laughs) So with the world at, like, with the world on your shoulders, Mm -hmm. the weight of the world on your shoulders, Mm -hmm. and success at your fingertips, right? Mm -hmm. How do you respond when 
adversity knocks at your door, mm. how do you respond? Pray. I'm a big. Yeah. Absolutely. It's, Absolutely. It's nowhere you can go. I, right. I mean, yeah. I. It's really, that's it. I know people think that it's so cliche or it sounds so simple, but it is. Right. And then if you believe in the, and be specific on what, you, what exactly, you know, pray in therapy. Mm. Speak I'm, on it. I'm therapy. A, therapy has therapy changed my, my life. life. Jinx. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it'll change your life. And right. you won't even know that it is change, you know, test to my, te- my therapist. Damn. I mean, she has been Damn. amazing. I've been in therapy now, I want to say, maybe so do you, three, four years. Okay, so you still go. So like, See, that was, that was my thing. I, I feel like I used therapy mm-hmm. when I was at, like, my breaking point. Mm-hmm. Right? So mm-hmm. I used therapy to help me get myself back. Okay. Um, and then I felt like I'm okay. I'm good. Let me whatever, but like I right. still have moments to where it's like I go back into sometimes you can fall back into like certain certain Absolutely. like characteristics. I, I want I don't know if that's the word, but yeah. certain traits. Yeah, certain traits. And um it's like I think I need to go back full time yes. where that's like a thing, like yeah. a two two day a week type thing. Yep, yeah. Right. Well, do you um when things are good you don't stop praying? No, absolutely not. I so, pray I pray all the time. No, but I'm saying that right. with therapy. You okay. You know what I mean? Like, even sometimes it's crazy when I feel like I don't need to go and then I go. It's So those are some of the best sessions I've had. Because mm. it's like, you don't know until she might ask you something that might trigger wow. you. Wow. Or, you know, you just, I just still think it's good to go because right. you don't have to do th- something just because you're down. Like, talk about right. the joys right. and right. the good things. Like, hey, I did this. I knocked this out the park. Right. I didn't think I was going to. So say your session is just all good. That's still good. Just to acknowledge that for yourself. Facts. You know, you got to pour into yourself. Definitely. I'm just, definitely. I'm yeah. big on that. Me too. Me you too. You know what I mean? Speaking good into your own self. Facts. Facts. So, um. Also reading about you, um, you jumped out there and you bought a condo, your first condo, right? Yeah. Um, where you was kind of like searching around, I guess, like trying to find a place and you found one in the middle of downtown. Yes. How did that spark the the fire for you to say, I want to get into this real estate game? Um, I think because I'm so inquisitive mm-hmm. that that process had too many unanswered questions for me. Mm. I just... You know, I don't like people talking over my head, especially when it's money and it's money that I'm using big words and shit. And you're yeah. like, what? Wait, hold on. I'm what? like, hold on. <laughs> and again, I had just kind of graduated like yeah. a year before. And right. I'm like, nah. And my parents, they had some real estate. So I kind of knew it was possible. And I was going downtown. Mm-hmm. Back then, it was, um, I guess, rent was that was low. You know, okay. Because we talking like 10 years ago. Yeah. But I'm feeling like it was. It was sky high. It was like twelve hundred dollars for a one bedroom downtown. It was high. So, so that was ten years ago. It was twelve hundred. That was yeah. That was super high back then. <laughs> and I was just destined. I wanted to live in Fourth Ward. That was my. I grew up in Fourth Ward. Yeah, I yeah. love that area. Yeah, you facts. know, and it's like true Atlanta. My mom had Absolutely. friends that lived down there, so I had always just been there. So I loved it, mm-hmm. and I loved the walking of it too. Yeah, yeah. And the character. Yeah, you yeah, know, absolutely. it's just it's just a bomb place. So. I ended up just doing my own research. Mm-hmm. I found the condo on my own, sent it to my realtor, like, hey. This is what I want to do. This is what I want. It was a dream, you know. It wow. was. When you got those keys, how you felt? <laughs> <laughs> I'm up now. Damn. Damn. <laughs> it make you, Congratulations. It makes you feel like, thank you, like, you could do it. You yeah, know what facts, I mean? Like, facts. wow, if I could do this, right. what else can I do? Did you wind up keeping that uh, real estate, though, or did you sell it? I sold it. You sold it. Okay. I sold it. Damn. Her. Just imagine if you would have had it right now. Well, I still check on it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. Like, right. how much would I have got? But, you know, you can't, you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't, I'm not that type of person. Like, Dwell if I past, do it. You did it. It's already done. I just sold the house that I owned um, in December off Washington, by Washington Park. Oh wow! Yeah, that part, uh, that uh, I think that's growing too. That's a growing area too. I probably people probably think I should have kept that too, but it's like, you know, right, right. Hey, hey, you are gonna get more, more properties. You that's can get the, more. You gotta that's the, give that's, yourself a lesson. You that's know? the game. Yeah, that's that's the game. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna be um, 
but that condo sparked something else in me because after that, I went into getting rental properties and stuff. Okay, doing Section A. Okay, and, damn. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I had got into the like the rental game or whatever. I was doing like I had got an apartment. And I just started Airbnb it illegally. I'm sorry, but <laughs> hey, I mean, but uh, but yeah, I started I like I started I started like renting it out or whatever. But like I kind of like I saw like that you could make money yeah. doing it. Yeah. But I lost a lot mm-hmm. and it kind of discouraged me mm-hmm. um, because then people was like tearing up my shit, bro. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> and I was like, man, I don't know. Yeah. I had one tenant um, in the house that I sold and she was Section 8 and it was probably my fault. I should have checked on it more. She tore but- it up. I mean, the walls were black. I don't even know. Bruh, like, like, how you do how that? How you get wall? How are the walls like, black? Like, oh, like, like, did you not? Like, and I don't want to judge you, but is this a crack house? Like, what? why are the walls black? And then why are there twin bed mattresses just in every room? It was the, how do you break the stove and the shelves <laughs> in the refrigerator? Like, what are you doing? Bro. You, you, you just go. never, you just never know. You never people. know. You taking right. so you know it's all fun when the city of Atlanta Facts. is depositing that money. You get a first of the money. I'm enjoying that. Absolutely. You know what I mean. I'm not Facts. even worried about what's going on over there until I got over there. Like, right. and I've had crazy things. One of my other houses got shot up. Like, huh? Full blown shot up. I mean, are you kidding me? Holes. And that house was in Summerhill. Oh, of course. It's, I mean, was, Summer Hill, though. It, I'm sorry, Summer Hill people. Sorry, Summer Hill. <laughs> like, like, sorry, but, thugs. Sorry, yeah, Richie. Like, but it was going when all of that was going on. Oh, uh, man. Wow. My house got caught in the weaver. But I, boom, I pivoted. I called. I was like, let me do it. I cried about it, you know. Thanks. When I saw that's it, oh, shit. my God, I'm crying. But then I'm like, okay, girl, that's done. What are you going to do? Because mm-hmm. this is money. Like, you were making that money. You're not making it. You still have a small mortgage. Mm-hmm. I got to sell it. Right. I found some right. old country guy in North Georgia. He wanted I told the ASAP. Him it was Section eight ready. He wanted the ASAP. I drove over there the other day. It's beautiful. Congratulations, wow. though. I mean, that don't have nothing to do with me. I right. Had, what I had it for. Whatever God wants me to have, I'm gonna have it. Dope. Dope. I don't. You know. You gotta yeah. have your hands out so you can Facts. receive. Facts. And, you know Absolutely. I, mean? I know you said before we started rolling, you stepped away kind of yeah. a little bit from like real estate. I had one more question, and then we can we pivot into what you do now. Yeah. So, um, what's up with the market right now? Like, why <laughs> is the market like? It's like, bro, because I be on TikTok and I just be learning. I yeah. like I learn off TikTok. I will just read yeah. whatever I do, everything. Yeah. And everybody's like really like complaining about just like they say this is the worst time to buy a house. But then when I read on stuff, they say that the interest rates are gonna go down. Yeah. This year, so right. like, what's your take on like like well, you know usually, the market? Um, politics and real estate kind of go hand in hand. Mm-hmm. So. Right now, it is a buyer's market Mm. because the interest rates are a little lower. Really? And that's because of politics. So during this election. Oh, election. Oh, that's what you meant. probably going to be, you know, as I don't don't quote me on this. I'm not a, you know, I mean, I'm not a forecaster. But I just think that this is probably the lowest they're going to get. So you might want to get in. So it's over with after this? I, I think, you know, whoever the president is. Mm. You never know mm. how that's going to go. So that's a gamble. We're going to talk so about some other stuff till... off camera, too. Okay. All right. But yeah. I wouldn't wait till after the gamble. I would mm. wait till the good and gets hot. And, right. I mean, and then just try to. And don't look at it right now as you buying your dream home. You're just trying to get in the game because you don't want to exit out. You don't want to be etched out of the game, which is. All these big major investors right. are just buying all these houses, and, and all you can and that's do what is I've be been a seeing renter too. Like, yeah, yeah like I mean, that's real. Ooh, like, and then all you'll be able to do ever is be a renter, right? right. And everybody's dreams is not to be a homeowner. Right. If that's not your dream, I got a homegirl. She right. loves jazz. Yeah. She love maintenance. Mm-hmm. She might not, but I'm like, well, you have to find things. You know what I mean? What about a mm-hmm. townhouse? Mm-hmm. You know, I yeah. love townhouses. Townhouses are beautiful. They're beautiful. I'm I- I just don't know. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, you good. I just don't know if I see myself living here in five years. That's why I never took that. I never took that jump on buying, like purchasing. I mean, but then you can make money out of it. Then Facts. you have an asset. Mm. You know what I mean? You got to look yeah. at it like that. Like you might not yeah. be here in five years, but yeah. people will be here. I think I'm gonna go out the country. That's great. <laughs> but you, you still have make money, money to be supplying yeah. your lifestyle <laughs> right. because out the right. country is way cheaper. You'll be right. living good off your rent here. I got a my um house in my neighborhood. I think the rent is like three thousand a month. Like how crazy for real? That? Wow. 
three thousand. Wow. I don't, I, I don't know how people can Banking. afford to live. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. So uh, three thousand is uh, a very steep. That's very steep. Because how much money do you have to make? You gotta make three times that and to then, even be okay. And then they are like confused on why so much fraud going on. Yeah. Well, have you right. seen the jobs? I right. mean. Bro, I, like man, I'm I'm like I'm just like bro. It's it's a lot of fraud going on, mm-hmm. and it's because it's just like you said because yes. of that. People are gonna make do, either way. You know Thanks. what I mean. But where did they learn that from? White collar. Don't get me. In, you hey, know what hey, I mean? we can go all day. We yeah, can have a part two on I that. I love politics, so I don't. I would love to talk to you about yeah. politics too. So yeah. I will bring you back. I don't like you know that. Yeah, people, they don't know right. my business. Right. Uh, <laughs> Let's talk about like your new endeavors. Okay. Um okay. and what you got going on now. So. Okay. So now um I know on the one sheet I I looked at it, I was like Towards the end it kinda like just it just told told us that about the real the CM uh what is it? CMC Realty. Yeah, and then yes. it just kinda went to yeah. Okay, shout out profit work. Yeah. Because that's my okay. new ministry now. Wow. Which is um it was really my father's vision. I started off, I was, we were kind of transitioning out of the construction industry. Okay. And looking just for different things. And I wanted to get into the nonprofit space just because yeah. that I love service. Mm-hmm. You know, that's really in my heart. And after you make money, 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 you know what I mean? It's cool. I love making money just mm-hmm. like everybody else. But then it's like your spirit kind of itches at you as mm-hmm. what is really your passion. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. I kind of started I won't say the name because I'm probably going to transition back into that nonprofit. Mm-hmm. But right now I work, um, I'm the executive director of operations for Flow with Blessings. And we do the mobile showers outside wow. of Grady Hospital twice a week. And we're also at Ebenezer. The so mobile hour. showers. It is a mobile shower trailer for the homeless, um, the unhoused. Wow. Yeah. Damn. It's okay. It's super That's beautiful. You have to see it to really, you have to come out there and see it. Yeah. I, yeah. I would love to like whatever. When I, people see it, they like, oh my goodness, you know, because it's a trailer and just like a, um, a movie set trailer. Yeah. And it has three separate stalls, the toilet, the mirror, the sink, and the shower. And so they get showers. We do showers, clothes, food, toiletries. How can I help? I, I really want to come out and help. Come out there. Yeah. Come out there. I'm there every Tuesday and Thursday from 845 to like 132 o'clock. Mm-hmm. It'll probably be 2 o'clock now that the weather is getting warmer. Mm-hmm. We serve like 50. 50 is my max. Where mm. I have to be like, okay, guys, I have to cut it off because we can't be out there all day. Right. You know what I mean? Right. And you still have to look at the supplies that you're getting and mm-hmm. you're giving out, you know, because everything we do is either donations or my graceful father who has just funded it because he saw somebody giving somebody some toiletries and was like, they can't even take no shower. Like, why are they giving them that? Yeah. So, like. Let's stay right there too, cause yeah. like like when Thanksgiving comes around, they always give the the homeless like a big ass turkey, and, like and yes. it's cold as fuck. Yes. Like how are they gonna cook this? Like, I, you know be, I, mean? I laugh at that all the time because and what's you funny, feel like me? Like yes. am I tripping? I yes. always wanted to know like what the hell are they gonna do with it? They don't know. Somebody just bought me a whole bag of fresh groceries last week. Like um, Christina, you want these? I'm like, Shh, I guess yeah. And it's collard greens. I mean, but the fresh leaf. Where are they going? They can't sell it to the other homeless people. So where are they going? They just give it to me. They make a fire or something and try to like cook. Oh, they make a fire anywhere in Atlanta or the Cab County. They're going to jail. (laughs) That's what I'm saying. Like (laughs) they're going to jail. Facts. They go to jail for less. Oh my god. You know what I mean? So a lot of times homeless people they want they rather go to jail because they have somewhere to stay too. Yay and nay. Some of them do. Some of them don't. Some of them don't like to be um, confined. Confined. You know, and that could be mental disorders. Absolutely. That could be past trauma. Right. You know, what I have learned is there are individual cases. Mm. Everybody is different. Everybody's different. So being out there, have you um because they see you so often, mm-hmm. have you already developed like friendships? Like like oh, they, they love you type thing? What? Oh wow. my god, they love me. They wow. love me. I have to show you some stuff off camera. Yeah, please. absolutely. They and I love them. Um one of our young guys, I'll tell you about him, he is twenty seven. We just had a um 
Health Resource Block Party. Mm -hmm. I got that idea from a group in L.A. They do called a Connect Day where you bring resources together. Mm -hmm. And then I add in, like, the barbers. Um, Shout out to Centric Barber Lounge. Shout out to Centric. Yeah, and they come through and give real hair because not like no fast like. Nah, they they, trying, they take like, their time. Give, yeah, like, they want you to look nice. Yeah, yeah, they're that's, amazing. That's beautiful. And they um, so we have clothes, food. You know, we had a food truck and we did it at City Hall. Shout out to Antonio Lewis mm-hmm. that allowed that to happen as well. Mm-hmm. And he got into a fight, and I see him super often. So you know, when you see somebody, like, whoa, he don't even act like this. So. Mm-hmm. I took him to the side and we were just talking and he told I was like, just tell me what's going on. He's 27. Mm. He got you kind of remind me of him. Really? Why? Really? Crazy. Wow. Yeah. 27. He was the only child. His mom was the only child. Mm. And his dad died when he was young. His mom just died. He lived in Philly. He just came down here. So he just is out here. You know what I mean? Mm. Literally nothing. He's somebody that can be helped though. You know Absolutely. what I mean? He's not on drugs. He's yeah. not he just has nowhere to go. Right now. Or no one. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I've been encouraging him because if you restore people's dignity, they'll help themselves. You know what I mean? You Damn. Just give them, like, look them in their eyes, you know? Right, or just right. care about them, you know? Right. Be human like right. we should be. Be human. Be human. That right. is so simple, but I know that compassion and that grace kind of goes out the window sometimes when you see people over and over again. But, I mean, who am I to judge? Because if I didn't have a family... Who? You just never know. You never know. So he um called, you know, he called put me to the side of the day. He was like, I got a job interview. I need some stuff. Oh um, wow. Yeah. I took him. I went and met him. You know, it's hard to find them, but mm-hmm. I know so many of them on the streets. I'm just like pulling up on every corner, like, Y'all seen Stacy? So he finally called me. I got him and stuff. The next day I called him. His interview was at one o'clock. I Did called him it? like twelve o'clock. I'm like, Stacy, I'm making sure you on the way. He like, Chrissy, he, you know, they call mm-hmm. me Chrissy. That's my family mm-hmm. name. So he's like, Chrissy, I went early and he gave me the job. I start Monday. Hey man. Wow. I mean wow. you know, so it was like you all you had to yeah. do is really like put a little bit into somebody, you know, so I cannot wait. I can't yeah. wait to go give load him up yeah. with some clothes, you know. Right, right. So I'm I'm, I'm, I'm looking, I'm looking at you. Yeah. And I, I just see. Yeah. Yeah, I that's see. That's my that, passion. Yeah, that's now. your passion. Yeah. That's yeah. your passion. Real estate is like I You can do that anytime. I can, you can do pick that anytime, it up. Man. But you're doing God's work right now. So And when you doing that You'll get blessed in other ways. I have been the doors have just opened up, you know what I mean? Like even she, Jazz and Shelly and my best friend Sharon, they have like Anything I need, they come together. Mm-hmm. They they ask me, you know, because when you sometimes a hustler and that hustling mm-hmm. mentality will put you in that just like right. one track zone. Right. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And it'll have you not being in vulnerable right. spaces right. as to like, hey, I need help with this. Yeah. You know what I mean? Absolutely. But that's OK. You Thanks. know, we should be connected and. Thanks. If I'm not getting nothing from it, I don't care, you mm-hmm. know? And that's always been me, but now it's like I've put it with the work. Yeah, You know what absolutely. I mean? So Damn. every little pivot I've taken has it's brought me here. Man, I want to give all y'all, like, y'all flowers, y'all whole little friend friend group. Yes. Like, all of y'all are doing, like, amazing things. Like, And then it's like, y'all are real friends. Yeah, You know how it's like, you know, you can see like the internet shit. You can see through and it be yeah. like fake friends shit. Yeah. Y'all are yeah. real friends. Yeah. And I love that because yeah. y'all encourage each other. Y'all love each other. And it seems like y'all support each other to the fullest. Yes. yes. So like, I'm giving all y'all flowers right now. I appreciate you. I appreciate (laughs) you. Because it, I mean, and that's how I started my other, I'm like, I'm going to drop my other thing. Yeah, go ahead. I do, it's called the Hustler's Dinner. And I just started that because I was meeting dope women like Shelly. You Mm. know, me and Shelly haven't even been friends that long. Mm. But, you know, when you connect with somebody and we both Virgos. Yeah. So, but when you connect with somebody you really connect with them mm-hmm. and you know it's easy so that's Absolutely. how it was. but I um the first time I did it I had about 25 women I mm-hmm. invited um cater got it cater you know just really nice just to say like I see you you know what mm-hmm. I mean and what you're doing is beautiful and how you are impacting mm-hmm. other women is beautiful. It's beautiful so too. I just had my third one this past December wow Wow. Yes. Congrats. And I thank you. And I did it where I invited all the women that I've had over the years. So I had like 65, Damn. 70 women. I mean, That's so dope. it was bomb. And I invited some of the 
younger women that I know in their like twenties. And one thing they told me, like, I've never been in a space yeah. where it's so many women that doing just, thing. and genuinely like are nice to you. You know, because yeah. women get I don't know what it yeah, is. It's yeah, it's just I, I feel like um and I don't want to bash social media, I'm not gonna say that. Is that but, what um, it is? I think it's just like the influence of like uh just just what people see yeah. all the time. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And yeah. probably, probably could be music too. It's what they hear. Yeah. It, it could be just like whatever. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But like they need to be around people that can encourage them and show them like and real that, genuine love. You don't owe me nothing for that. Like Facts. for just being me and just like, girl, I see you. You doing it. Like what so, is, you know, where did that get lost? I don't know. I don't know. I know plenty of women like that. <laughs> I mean, I have several tribes that uplift me and uh, allow me to stand on their backs and I do the same man I and this is gonna be another conversation I'm gonna have to bring you back for part two okay. but I'm gonna say I'm gonna say this like women they stick together like I like it's kind of hard for for me as a man to like find different groups mm-hmm. of like men to hang with mm-hmm. because it's just like I don't know why I ain't trying to curse on this episode because yeah. this episode just been too good. We been talking about God and stuff. I ain't trying to curse, but people just been people just been like, bro, like they're just like, I don't know, it's just shady, yeah. shady stuff that go on, like yeah. you know what I'm saying, and like the men friend group yeah. type thing. It, so it I kind of, I kind of like stay to myself a little bit. I got a couple of friends and I work with a lot of people, but like mm-hmm. to call you my friend mm-hmm. is that's that's like a sandbox. Yeah, that that's a that's a word I gotta really, really, really stand on with you. Like yeah. you know what I mean? Like. I I don't know where that I, I've always I mean the friendships I've had I've had them like Shanae we've been friends since fifth grade like and we're not even like a you know how people say we've been friends no we've been friends mm-hmm. like elementary middle right. high school college right. like her mama is my auntie you know what I mean Crazy. our mamas talk on the phone Dope. we've been area we've been friends seventh grade Dope. I mean I aside of, I have so many women that you know, you just got to be you. Be you. Be you. Sometimes you? being you, though, I will say that sometimes being you does, like, scare people away because they're just not confident in themselves. But that's just not That's just tribe. them. That ain't your tribe. Yeah. <laughs> facts. <laughs> facts. I be authentically me all the time. Like, I'm not no gangster. I'm none of that shit. Right. I'm me. Right. Like, you know what I mean? Like, right. I care about people. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. I love people for real. Like, mm-hmm. if I rock with you, I really rock with you. Right. And sometimes, like, you just, like, I'm confident in myself. Right. I'm not about to walk around this motherfucker, like, just, like, you know, right. like, shy and timid. I ain't timid. gonna take on what you yeah, got going like, bro. Like, so I'm, you can't be mad at me for being me. unapologetically me. No, you, you cannot. You know what I'm saying? And you can't let that, you know, sometimes people are deter- let that deter them. I'm like, that ain't got nothing to do with me. I ain't gonna put that bad juju on me. Facts. You know, I'm... Facts. And everything isn't always good. But I'm not going to... What does Tabitha say? I ain't going to make somebody else day bad just because I'm making... You know <laughs> right, what I mean? Right, right, And I don't fact. even believe in bad days. I believe right. like it's a bad moment or right. something just then, yeah. you know. But a lot of times that's ego that we got to release. So. Damn, damn. <laughs> Man, thank you for coming to Vibe with Vito. I appreciate this, you. This was a really me. good conversation. Um, Hopefully we can continue to stay connected. Yeah. I want to help... The any any way I can, yeah. Um, volunteer wise or whatever, have you? Please, for sure. I love you to come down there. Even I just like people to come down there so that they see that the unhoused people are not like so far removed. You right. know what I mean? Right. right. Like just come down there and kick it, cause they be kicking it for sure. And it'll, you know, you might want to interview some of them. They love sure. to talk, dope. and they have journeys. Dope. So that's dope. Tell the people where they can find you. You can find me um, at flowingwithblessings.org. You can find me at cmcrealtyllc.com. And those are both on Instagram. The handles are the same, Flowing with Blessings and cmc underscore LLC. That's dope. It's been another episode of Vibing with Vito. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. Hey, leave me a comment, please. <laughs> and subscribe to my YouTube channel. We gone. All right.